Hello. This is the first video in a very, 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 very long time that I'm recording not with my camera. This right here is my A7S II with a battery pack. And this camera has been mine that I've used almost daily for close to three years now. Right around the time that we shot the missile in the sky, when we went to Tokyo, let me see, Julian. Yeah. This camera's been around since that sound. Over three years now, I've used this camera almost every day. And it is such a beautiful machine. And I will forever cherish it and use it. But there's a new kid on the block now. And the new kid's name is A73. I don't know where he's from. It's a very weird name. That is what I'm shooting on right now. That is this camera, the A73. This camera came out actually sort of recently with a ton of upgrades. And so what I did was I rented it. Uh, as an Alpha Collective member, they let us loan cameras out to test and play with and shoot. So I rented it and I got it yesterday and I am going to be shooting with it throughout the weekend, uh, whatever I shoot at TwitchCon and I wanted to make a vlog with it today, just, just kind of um, test it out, see what, it, see what it does. This is my normal wide lens that I use right here, like this focal length and then this one's a little bit wider. But I'm gonna show you guys a couple of the differences that this camera introduces in terms of hardware and software and just abilities overall. Tomorrow we leave for TwitchCon, so today is prep day and laundry day and clean the house day and pack day and stress day. So, welcome to stress day. Okay, so, um, like a total professional, I was just getting this little miniature photo surface out so I can start doing like some product shots of the new camera and of course I just like destroy my finger on the side of it uh, that's super dope ah cut myself uh, as soon as I cut myself Jenna says oh damn now you're gonna cut yourself two more times before TwitchCon first thing I do with my new camera injure myself Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Good girl. Yeah, I know. I know. There's a tension to be had. Okay. No grabbing the camera. One of my instant favorite features of the A7 III. Okay, Peach. I'm gonna need you to stop grabbing the camera. You understand me? Is the touch screen functionalities? The A7S does not have a touch screen, so this is new to me. If I'm trying to pull focus from one thing to another, all I have to do is tap that thing. So if I want to focus on the wall behind Peach, tap the wall. If I want to focus on Peach, tap Peach. Headphones, tap headphones. Peach, wall, Peach, headphones. This is autofocus, like focus racking control that you could literally never do with the A7S. Who wants the manual focus? On. Hi. 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 You're so pretty. We have the Sure mic, and if I want to start on the mic, I tap the mic. Then I switch to Peach. And it's like perfect and quick. This is what touch autofocus should be. It's so simple. I love it. And then you hit the button at the top of the screen, and it switches back from touch focus to just autofocus, so you're good to go. And when you use autofocus, there are over 500 more focus points on this camera than the A7S, which means there are that many more spots within the shot that the camera can work from to try to grab focus, which makes autofocusing so easy and very, very quick. This camera is not <laughs> supposed to be in the dryer. How did that happen? What? what? <laughs> I have no idea. Say what I think you just said. Oh, yeah. Oh, you fooled <laughs> I'm shooting the world's best camera review. Oh. Don't put your cameras in the dryer. No, I have to do. Laundry. I don't know where to put this. Do you hear that? You hear that sound? What sound? 
You hear that? No. It's the sound of FKBHD fucking quaking! <laughs> We're tired. Can you put my laundry in next? I'm not going to put your laundry in. you got to bring it down here. No, you, I want you to put it in. No, no, no. You can go get it. No, I need you to put it in. I don't know where your laundry is. It's just a little bit everywhere. That doesn't help me. It also stresses me out a little bit. Could you bring it down here and then I can do it? <laughs> Excuse you. I don't know where your laundry is. In my closet. It's in my closet. So go get it. My arm's just... Your arms are working fine. Julian, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you wanna make a deal? Yeah, what's make a deal? A bargain. What's a bargain? You get my laundry, bring it down here, put it in, and I'll You took too long to offer my part, good part of it, so it just shows me that you didn't think it through. We'll make us protein pancakes. Laundry for pancakes, baby. Thank you for the pancakes. Mmm. Really good. Still doing laundry. Still not enjoying it. Yeah, my closet's a little bit of a mess. It's okay though, because you're not gonna judge me right. I bought these recently. These are Doc Martens. They're vegan version of a boot. So leatherless, synthetic, and goddamn handsome. So I'm gonna bring those to TwitchCon. Turn to the holy Mecca. This is me getting ready for the trip, walking through the beauty store. Oh, babe, that's really sweet of you, but I don't need any lashes. If I can get them on, I haven't been able to get them on. So you seriously permed your lashes so much that they won't. You won't take a strip wash? I've been trying to like put coconut oil on them to relax them. To, like, I haven't been able to since I've them. I debated cutting some of them off. It's that bad. Me. I'm taking this. Um, I'm gonna be a snail. Okay. Can I be a snail? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. I just wanna be a snail. That's fine by me, sweetie. So we're just doing our normal, like, go to the drugstore, go to the grocery store, get our snacks, get our toiletries all ready for a trip. It's kind of a long trip. I have um, so much stuff to do. We have to pack everything. We have to get our food ready. We have to make dinner. We have to clean. But none of that is interesting to me. So I'm going to finish installing my new graphics card. So currently, I'm using a 1080 GTX graphics card, and I've been using it for like two years. And, and recently, I upgraded, um, and I got this, but the thing is, it's for my new PC, which I haven't really started the build yet because 
I haven't started building my new PC yet because I'm waiting on the motherboard to be available for sale. And then I'm gonna order it, and then the motherboard is gonna kind of be what I build everything around of. I already have a bunch of components. I've got memory, I got cooling, power, I have this. But in the meantime, because I'm at least like a month and a half away of having that new computer built to have the dual PC stream going, in the meantime, I figured I would plug this puppy into my PC. So right now I'm going to turn this puppy off. Unplug this puppy. Take off the side of this puppy. Stop referring to my PC as a puppy. I'm gonna take this puppy out of here. There we go. This is my graphics card. These are the two fans on the bottom and this is gonna be put in a box just for a few months and then it'll be coming back into this PC. This is the real boy right here. GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. First step, line it up. Before I lock it in, I just wanna do something. I wanna test the power situation. All right, so this has eight prongs right here, which is all that 1080 required. It only needed eight ports to be filled for power. This one has 16 ports need to be filled. So there's eight more. Problem is I have six, not eight. So that's where this adapter comes in and it's going to receive the six that I have. And then this has eight on this side. So power it on. Moment of truth, Peach. Is it gonna launch? There we go. That's how you switch out a graphics card. Kind of a cool thing. It's gonna be even cooler when um, I build the new PC and I'm able to show you kind of start to finish that whole process because I am learning a lot as I go and it is really cool and fun. I'm gonna finish setting this up, then I'm gonna finish packing. I can't focus on vlogging because I have to fucking edit this before I go. So um, I will see you guys at TwitchCon. Those of you who will be there, I will see you there. Those of you who won't be there, we will be streaming during the tournament. We're, our like our gameplay will be streamed on our Twitch channel. So you'll be able to watch us. It won't be a completely normal stream, but It'll be a stream nonetheless. I'll also be vlogging. I'm super excited. This year has been huge for us on Twitch and TwitchCon is something that I really like can't wait for. Also, um, I'm not sure, this might be me being biased, but I think I noticed a big difference in this vlog with this new camera. 